Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? I want you to want you to season up your shrimps with these ingredients. I'm using first kosher salt. Please use kosher salt and not the table salt. And then I'm gonna use some black pepper. And then I want you guys to use some garlic and herb seasoning. I got this from Spain Spices. If you want to try out some of these here products from Spain Spices, I'm leaving a link below for you guys to check them out. Granted, if you try these recipes, these in, um, spices, you won't be disappointed. And I'm also using their lemon pepper seasoning. Spain Spices has some good stuff, y'all. I'm telling you. Then I have some of this here complete seasoning. We season up these shrimps, y'all. We getting some flavor. And I'm adding in some of this here minced garlic. Then we're gonna toss in some dried parsley. And we have some Cajun rub. We're gonna go ahead and give everything a nice little toss. Now this is what I want you to do. I want you to get you a skillet, put some butter in it, and cook your shrimp two minutes per side. All right, two minutes per side. After your shrimp is done two minutes per side, I need you guys to divide these shrimps into three portions. The reason why I say divide it in three portions because I'm doing something special with this video. But you have to watch the entire video to see exactly why I say three portions of shrimp that need to be divided. That shrimp look good, y'all. I'm telling you. Oh, yes, indeed. Three portions of shrimp divided, divided into three portions. I hope y'all got that. Okay, let's go. So once your shrimp, shrimps are done, do not wash that pot. Keep all your little bits and pieces. That's garlic down there, y'all. We need this garlic, all right? Then I want you to take a half a stick of butter and just melt it, all right? Then along with that, I want you to get you some whipping cream. Get your whipping cream and pour it right into that butter. We're making some sauce and you know for these shrimps because we're gonna do something crazy with these here baked potatoes. I'm telling you, we're gonna do something crazy. Now, I want you guys to go ahead and we're gonna flavor up this here um, sauce, y'all. Mm -hmm. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna use some of this all-in-one from Spain Spices. If you don't have all-in-one from Spain Spices, you can use all-purpose seasoning. It works um, just the same. Then we have here some oregano, basil, and tomato seasoning. I got this from Ross. Y'all don't be slipping on Ross. Ross got some good stuff over there in that food section, in that little kitchen section. Then we have some of this here black pepper. All right, then we're gonna toss in some Parmesan cheese. Yes, indeed, that's why it's gonna be garlic Parmesan cheese sauce. Ooh, wait, I'm telling you, y'all. Now we're gonna toss in a, 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 how much you want. I don't care how much you want, just toss it on in. Then we got some of this here sharp cheddar cheese. Toss some of that cheese up in there, y'all. I'm telling you. Now once you've done that, this is what I want you to do now. Mix everything together. Turn your heat down to a medium low, all right? And just bring that sauce to, you know, to, to the thickness or, or, or the consistency that you like it. How thick, how thin you like it. Taste your sauce. Make sure that it has an, um, enough salt in it. If no, if it don't have enough salt, add you some salt to it, all right? But I want you to take the first portion of your shrimp, the first portion of your shrimp, and put it inside that there sauce, all right? This is why I say you need to divide it into three portions, because number one, first portion is going into the sauce. So I tasted it. I had to add a little bit more salt to it. After that, magnificent. Oh my God, it was good. Ooh, yes, it was good. So this is how thick I like my sauce. We're gonna move to the next step. Let's build these potatoes. I put four potatoes, four large potatoes in the oven. I'm using two for stuffing. So right now I'm mashing up two potatoes or getting ready to season up two large potatoes in a bowl. 
All right. So I got me some butter here that I seasoned up with some, some, some herb seasoning. You can do the exact same. Throw you some butter in a bowl, season it up, use whatever seasoning you have in your cabinet, throw it in the microwave, melt it down, throw it in that bowl. Now we got some whipping cream. We're tossing that in, in the potatoes. Then I have some parsley. I'm throwing some parsley in the potatoes. So we're gonna have flavor tone, y'all. Flavor all throughout these here baked potatoes. Now I have some more of that garlic herb, Spain spices, tossing that in there with some black pepper. Yes, sir. And you do not have to worry about the salt content. Trust and believe me, this is not salty at all. Trust me when I tell you this. Toss in you some sour cream. Go ahead and give this a mash. If you have a potato masher, that'll be fine. If you don't, you can use a fork. And then you can make your potatoes thick as you want or loose as you want. All right? It all depends on how it, it's all up to you, how you like your potatoes. All right? Go ahead and toss you in some sharp cheddar cheese. And you can use whatever kind of cheese you like. It's all your preference. But follow this, these re this recipe. You will definitely love it. And I'm adding in some Parmesan along with this. And I want to go ahead and mix this in. And after I mix this um, cheese in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the um, third, the second portion, all right, of shrimp. I'm adding in the second portion. We already used portion number one in our sauce. Now we're using portion number two in our stuffing, potato stuffing. Boy, them potatoes looking good, y'all. I'm telling you, they're going to be flavored up from top to bottom. Now we are taking our baked potato. You're going to make, we're making two large baked potatoes. So you're going to take our first baked potato, split it in half, open it up, take your a fork, and we just want to fluff it out. All right? Once we fluff it out, you can season your potato however you like. Right now, I'm just using some salt and some pepper and some herbs. You know what I'm saying? And this is how I like to have my potato seasoned. You understand? And then on top of that, I've got me some of that there um, um, butter that's in the squeeze bottle. I think that's parquet. And I'm just gonna squeeze me some of that butter right on top of that potato just so I can have flavor in the potato from the skin all the way up to the filling. Now we're gonna add our shrimp filling, shrimp potato filling to the first potato. Yes, we're doing two potatoes, two different ways. Two potatoes, two different ways. But you're gonna love both of those ways. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna, we got our filling in, all right? So we're gonna take that third portion of shrimp and we're just gonna stack it right on top of this here first potato. So, don't stack all your shrimp, but just take you some up and just put you some up there, no matter how many pieces you want. Sprinkle some of that, that cheddar cheese on top. Like I said, you could use whatever type of cheese blend you like. This recipe will come out fantastic. Then I'm taking some more of that shrimp that I got that's, that's left, and I'm stacking them right on top. These are what I call loaded like hell shrimp potatoes. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Throw you some more cheese on that baby. Mm-hmm. Now you can go ahead and just dress it up, make it look good with some parsley. Hit it off with a little bit more of that garlic seasoning or that herb seasoning or whatever things you want to put on top of your potato to make it look good. Now on that sack of potato, what I'm doing is I'm taking those shrimps that we've, that we've um, made in that sauce and I'm putting them right on top of that sack of potato because we already just stuffed that potato with the stuffing. You see what I'm saying? Because that stuffing already has shrimp in it and I'm, we're just building flavor and layers of flavor on top of flavor. Then we're hitting it with some more Parmesan. Don't it look good, y'all? Don't it look good? 
So at this point, I want you to set your oven on the broiler set for high. We're gonna set this in the oven for at least around about five, four minutes or so on the broiler set high. And this is what we've got, melted cheese. And I'm telling you, these potatoes look good. Now for that Parmesan cheese potato, I want you to take the rest of your the shrimp that you had in your sauce and pile it right on top. Ooh wee. Somebody better call the doctor because you're going to need one after you try to eat this whole potato by yourself. One person can't eat this potato. It's going to take at least three people per potato. I'm telling you. Look at that there. Throw some of that sauce right on top. Don't play with this here potato. Throw some of that stuff right on top. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do for you guys? I'm going to shut my mouth right now. I ain't saying nothing else. That's it. You ain't going to hear nothing else from me. All right, just watch this video. I want to thank you guys so much for checking out this here video. Do me a favor, please, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want you to be a part of the Ray Mac family, all right? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you will be notified of up and coming videos. I want to tell you guys, man, love and not hate. But before I leave, I want you to leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what type of videos you would like to see in the future. Now I can say it again. Love and not hate. Love somebody and hate nobody. I love you guys. Peace.